Hello again. I really am quite open-minded about climate change, but I think it's about time that those promoting the idea at least got their stories straight so that we knew exactly what it is we are supposed to be worrying about. I expect many people read that the Secretary General of the United Nations, in response to the wildfires on Mediterranean islands, has warned that we have now entered the era of global boiling, which I suppose is uh, the next stage up from global warming. Well, at least that's a definite statement. It is apparently backed up by the fact that recent months have been the world's hottest in recorded history. Experts tell us that we in Britain must prepare for summers which exceed anything we've seen before in terms of sunshine and heat. That all sounds clear enough, of course. Mind, our lived experience, as they say, tells us that far from being record-breakingly hot, summer in this country has actually been pretty damp and chilly this year, and not noticeably record-breakingly hot in previous years either. But I suppose there are about to be ups and downs on the road to these gloriously hot and sunny summers, which have been regularly promised ever since climate change became such a thing. This is all one big hypothesis of climate change, that Europe is growing hotter and will continue to do so. In the magazine Nature this week, uh, which I don't read regularly, I can't make head and tail of most of the articles in it, there is a long and detailed paper with the forbidding title of Warning of a forthcoming collapse at the of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. Now, Nature's a science magazine. They only accept carefully screened and uh, peer-reviewed articles by serious scientists. And this one is no exception. The gist of it is that because the ice in the Arctic is melting, this will disrupt the Gulf Stream, which keeps Western Europe warm by bringing seawater from the equator here. It seems that this whole system is about to collapse sometime this century, and this will mean that temperatures in Europe will drop by 15 degrees or so, which is a very, very large plunge in temperature. Our winters in Britain will be comparable to those in Siberia. I give links both to the article and also to the BBC response to it in the description to this video. I need hardly point out that we are unlikely to have both blisteringly hot summers and also winters as cold as those in Siberia. If the temperature in Europe really does drop by 15 degrees, we will rather be in a state very much like an ice age. Talking of which, the latest temperatures from the recording stations in the Antarctic are of interest in this context. The temperatures measured now are lower than at any time in the last six years. I give a link to this information which was recently released. At the same time, the thickness of ice in the Antarctic is increasing and what's more, it's greater in extent now than at any time since satellite data began to be gathered in 1979. I give a link to a bit about that as well. In other words, the ice cap at the South Pole is growing rather than shrinking. This is odd if the world really is getting warmer. I have an idea that some climate scientists are now hedging their bets a little and by predicting freezing conditions for Europe on the one hand and boiling hot summers on the other, they are covering all bases, so to speak. I may be wrong, but I would not be at all surprised to see talk of a coming ice age again soon. In the meantime, simply looking out the window or going for a walk reveals that in Britain at least it's business as usual. A bit of sun in June and then a gloomy and grey July. Nothing seems to change as far as the British climate is concerned, whatever might be happening in Rhodes or Antarctica. <laughs>